Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. In this update, we are going to critically look at, uh, analyze this uh, update and see uh, where we are heading. Just is this Mr. Angelivia? I said a lot of things, a lot of things. Uh, some we can go home with, some we just trash. But let's just critically analyze it and see the situation we are. See you. When an activity linger for much more longer than anticipated, there's tendency for resentment, for complaints, for agitation, and for protest, as the case may be. We will consider those tangible, meaningful, and sensible approach that every grand subscriber should do. The path every grand subscriber or administrator should do at the moment. Hence, we will not jeopardize what you know this uh Angelivia of a man have been saying many things you remember last week when he said that gave us analysis how the disbursement will be done after salah so we want to see the although sometimes i i like the way he analyzes issues but he makes statement categorical which at the end shoots him on the feet so let's just listen to him get what we can get from him and see his mindset we have most much more resources striving to achieve for the benefit of the entire millions of subscribers or masses at the moment we will not conduct ourselves in ways that will call off the disbursement of this grant you know these people are fond of telling the beneficiaries not to react not to protest not to you know not to speak out for crying out loud this is the weapon if we don't have press conference if we don't speak out then how are we going to know the state of the affairs let's look critically at the responses of some people at the moment i've seen people criticizing apostle ken calling him a scammer calling him an extortionist some even holds that Apostle Ken doesn't have grants to disburse to Nigerians. Again, I've witnessed in some platforms as people are asking questions of which grants that we are expecting, if it is the UAH grant or the UAS grant or the AGPGN grant. People are asking this question on this YouTube channel. I've seen a comment asking me down here to explain or answer if it is AGPGN grant or the UAH grant. Let's start first at the plan for protest press conferences by some pressure groups or agitators in the ecosystem. Why do we think that protest or press conference is the right decision to take at the moment? Is there no grant to be disbursed? The answer is there is grants to be disposed. Then why are we planning for press conferences and protests? Why won't we plan for press conferences and protests? There is grant to be disbursed. We are not being carried along about the modality of the so let let there be press conference. Everybody come to the table, everybody air their view. Then we'll know what is next. Why is this press conference being being feared? why are they why are some group of people afraid of press conference why has the grant been given or disposed to the beneficiary ngo account of either the agpgn or the uaag and they refuse to disperse and the answer is no the money has not been deposited in the beneficiary ngo account they are still expecting the money to be deposited or transferred from where then what is holding the money i thought they said that i finished all the paperwork that the government will transfer the money what is holding the money where it is currently being domiciled to those accounts before they can dispose so why do we plan of protesting or holding world press conferences the grant has been delayed has lingered for so long. I've heard one pressure group leader claiming that the grant has been handed over to Apostle Ken and the approval has been given to him to disperse and he refused to disperse.
response. Please, can anyone resist a directive or an order of the federal government? The answer is no. If the federal government has ordered the grants to be dispersed and any individual failed to disperse, believe that the government will take a more discreet and strategic step to ensure such grants is dispersed. Governments have several means of compelling people who doesn't wish to act in a way that helps stabilize the economy to act accordingly. Therefore, nobody is refusing or resisting an order of the government to disperse grants. So why do we think of holding a press conferences against the grant handler, the UAHE country? That then why are they afraid of the press conference? If their conscience is clear, once the press conference is held, it's even good it will vindicate them. The beneficiaries will see that they are innocent. Why are they bet on not letting the press conference to hold? Why? Director of the AGPGN. Why are we resorting to insult, blasphemy, or character smearing of this uh, grant handler, specifically the country director of the UAH Why Apostle can't Ambassador we? Dr. Ken Wakama? Why he, he, what? he left himself exposed to all those insults, assuming he has done the needful won't have been in this stage so the insult is should be bare we should even try to reduce the insult by disposing this money you know it's so obvious that uh, this uh wouldn't you olivia of a man is in ken's camp is his pond because he's not being objective he's not being objective yes they are insulting ken i know that it's not good but what led to that insult since he feels that they are insulting him, let him come to the table and say what is wrong. Analyze it. Let the beneficiaries have trust in him. Has he actually done wrong to deserve all the comments or the insults he has and done character wrong. smearing content he has done wrong. across the social media groups? Even during the partners meeting, someone sent him a text right there in the meeting calling him a scammer. Someone even blasphemed and caused his family. This is the same man that has sold his cars just to further no, this disbursement of no, this grant. No. This is the same family no. that has lost their security and peace no. since March 2023 till date. No. This is the same man that has sacrificed so much all for the sake of the masses. Some of you have heard him saying in the meeting that he regrets in some way stepping into this activity called he, grant disbursement. And Those are he is today he should have backed out from this activity because he has lost his respect and integrity, even peace. Yes. He has lost the admiration of people even close to him because mm -hmm. he's trying to help the masses. In this and many more, we are seizing the moment to urge you, the grant subscribers, to hold at least some level of respect and trust. He doesn't deserve respect. He sold it. He sold his respect when he said, uh, hosted a Thanksgiving celebration that when you get home, you will receive a lot. He sold his respect on December 27 when he made it categorically that the lot must be there. He sold his respect by promising people and taking money from people with the hope that there will be disbursement. Those are the times he sold his respect. And one thing about dignity, respect, and prestige. You can accumulate it for years, but within a think of an eye, you lose it. So that is it. So the, the, these things he's saying is the aftermath of all his actions. His aftermath of all his actions. I'm not against him, but I am not happy seeing people dying. I am not happy people are suffering and the disbursement is not is not is not done. These are money for people. If the government is is sitting on the money, he should come to the beneficiary. Let us go to the government. Let us organize press conference so that the government will release this money. That is how a leader should do. For this man, he deserves our encouragement and our support, not insults. When you see a scammer, you will definitely know one. Yes. Nobody scams Nigeria and walk this society bare free. Yes, there are many now. There are many that have scammed us and go free. Should we mention names? 
this man should be stopped speaking as if he's living in a Pluto planet. You know, there are many that have looted our money and they are nowhere to be found. They are free today in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. So this man should stop saying something as if we don't we are children. You may work for some moment, but the truth will definitely be unfair and from that moment you will definitely go to jail. Are we insulting them, the grand handler be because he don't have grant to this boss and he is parading himself as a grant handler? If it was true, the all grant pressure group themselves now arrested or petitioned a personal ambassador Ken and UAAG to defend the source of the grant just as they petitioned the Theobas Global Foundation country director. It's a mastermind plan. They, they, they know what they are doing. So guys, we'll stop here. We'll still continue our updates. We'll continue our update because this man automatically is so evident that he's he even if he's he, he's not he's not for the masses he's not for the masses see you on our next update